My name is Justin Lewis. I'm the FLS Microjet pilot. I live in Oklahoma City and I fly the world's smallest jet airplane. About eight years ago, I came upon an opportunity and, and uh, the ability to build this BD-5J. This is a jet that inspired me when I was a kid and I knew it could inspire someone else in the industry. This is also the type of airplane that's perfect for the air show industry because it's completely unique. There's a lot of aerobatic acts out there, there's a lot of other things out there, but this is, this is the one thing that is so unique to the industry that people cannot look away. They have to see it. So I really wanted to build this airplane. And I knew that uh, there were some uphill battles. I knew that over the course of all the years of it existing, it really hadn't successfully been built outside of the, the factory, to my knowledge. And so we were trying to do something really for the first time since its conception back in, in the 1970s. Um, we were able to do this. We, we teamed up with some engineers, and we came up with a set of rules for ourselves that centered around safety, quality, uh, not letting finances, that kind of thing, get in the way. We were actually very realistic about the budget. We were very realistic about what our goals and expectations were. We knew we were doing something that people had been trying to do for 30 plus years and were unsuccessful. So that's a very realistic thing to when you tell yourself, why, why is it that you think you can do this when others fail? And I just wanted to fly this jet that really captured my imagination when I was a kid and, and I think it still does these days too. My name is Jeremy Dirksen. I'm from Edmond, Oklahoma. I'm the FLS Microjet crew chief and I'm 36 years old. We met through some friends and uh, just kind of a friendship developed. I took, he took me flying his glass air a few times. Uh, he's really busy when he's flying the 707, so we really didn't see each other that often. Then uh, a few years a few years after we'd met, he invited me out to his house one night and said, uh, I want to show you something that I'm doing. So we, we went out and had dinner and we sat down and he opened up this folder and in the the picture is of a, like, I know that jet, I remember the Kurzweil Silver Bullets, and he's like, well, I'm building one. I was like, really? And he said, yeah. And he's like, I want to know if you want to be part of the team and be my crew chief. And I was like, yes, of course. <laughs> I, you know, I never imagined that would, uh, that, that would happen. And uh, it, was, it was humbling to be asked uh, to help out, and it's been a lot of fun. Bottle rocket break right here. I've always heard about how air shows are families and the, all the pilots and everybody coming together and it's, it's, it's awesome. Family is an understatement. I like how we're able to reach such large audiences, large, lots of people out there, especially the kids. Uh, we just got done doing an event not too long ago at a school and I was able to go out and speak with the, the kids. And, and it's so nice to be able to look them in the eye, say these things that are 
that seem impossible but make it possible in their eyes and, and give them a reason to reach for something that's a little bit extraordinary.